Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have x squared into x equal to 27. Remember the question is directing us to provide all the solutions, right? So from here, let's multiply these two as we'll be having um x to the power of 2 plus 1 because this has an invisible power of 1 so pick one of the bases and add the power this will now be equal to 27 now x to the power of 3 here is equal to 27 and the question says solve it completely if not, what we would have done is to take the cube root of both sides and get the value of x. But that will not give us all the solutions, right? So because of that, we are going to write x to the power of 3 to be equal to 3 to the power of 3. Because that will give us 37. Now, bring everything to the same side. x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 0 isn't it okay from here let's apply this standard a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b close this into a squared plus a b plus b squared okay so this is a standard and um, we shall be following this right away so that our a will be x and our b will be 3. So we have x minus 3 here. Then in this we have x squared plus ab will be x times 3, right? Okay, then plus b squared which will be 3 squared close this and this is equal to 0 to continue with this we have x minus 3 then in here we have x squared plus 3x plus 9 and this is equal to 0 how did i get the 9 that is 3 squared right now from here we can apply zero product rule. Remember we are to have three solutions. X here is okay from here x minus three is equal to zero, right? This means that x is equal to zero plus three and our x is equal to three. This is the first value of x. We need two more solutions. To get the other solutions, we are going to pick this quadratic expression here, which is x squared plus 3x plus 9. So this is a quadratic e expression, and we shall equate this to 0 so that we can have a quadratic equation. Then what method do we apply to solve this? Let's use the formula. So that our a will be 1, that is the coefficient of x squared. Our b is 3, that is the coefficient of x. And then our c is equal to 9, that is the constant. Now, what is the formula? x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now our x here is equal to minus b in place of minus b i write minus 3 then plus or minus square root of b squared b squared is still 3 squared then minus 4 times a1 times c which is 9 and the whole of this is over 2 times 1 to continue x 
will be equal to we have um minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 4 times 1 times 9 that is 36 so that from here we can now divide by 2 because 2 times 1 is 2 now we can subtract what we have in the square root sign x will be minus 3 plus or minus we have square root of 9 minus 36 is minus 27 right and this will be over 2 now to continue with this we have x to be equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 27 multiplied by square root of negative 1 I needed to bring out the negative because we can't get the square root of 27 directly so this is over 2 let's continue from here okay so from here now we have x to be equal to minus 3 plus or minus 27 here is the same thing as 9 times 3 then multiply by square root of negative 1 the whole of this is over 2 to continue with this x here will be minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 here is 3 then square root of 3 then multiply by square root of negative 1 that will give imaginary and is i and this is everything over 2 now to continue with this we can rearrange this so that this will not appear to be under square root so we can say that x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 3 so this i will multiply this 3 and we have 3i so this is all over 2 now we have a 2 in 1 solution this means that x is equal to minus 3 plus 3i root 3 over 2 or we have minus 3 minus 3i root 3 over 2 okay so these are the two other solutions to bring all the solutions together our x1 equals 3 our x2 equals minus 3 plus square root okay plus 3i square root of 3 over 2 and our x3 is minus 3 minus 3i square root of 3 over 2 so these are the three solutions to the equation